What's up guys, this is Retro here, and today, we're starting a brand new YouTube series that I like to call... Okay guys, now, episode 1 is gonna be a crazy episode, I feel. It's gonna be so crazy, in fact, that we're gonna learn a lot of things. And one thing we're gonna learn today is how to start making a game in Roblox. A studio! Let's do it now! Yeah! Okay, guys. Since this is the first episode, I thought, why not? Why not start with the countdown? Maybe a count up? We'll see. But anyways, we're gonna go and do step one to making a Roblox Studio game. Ready for it? Step one, make a user on Roblox. Of course, here's a user right here. I made him uh, pretty good. Yeah, his name is Retro YouTube Studio right here. And as you can see, clearly, I have extensively customized my character to my desire. The hair is placed in a perfectionist fashion. His amazing shirt took years and hours to design by hand, stitched by the finest tailor in his pants. His pants were found behind a dumpster because I did not have enough time to get new pants but that's fine because he's our perfect character for a perfect new game so now after we create our character we can go to step uno plus uno to equal two that's right step number two now you may be wondering hey Retro, uh, what is step uh, number uh, two? And I'll be like, it's very simple. Very simple, mister. Is obviously the simplest thing you could do on Roblox, and that is to play Roblox game. Now you may be wondering, hey Retro, uh, why do I need to play a Roblox game? And that's very simple, simple question. And the answer to that is also very simple. You see, as you play a Roblox game, it installs Roblox onto your computer. Yeah, that's right, it installs Roblox onto your computer. And when it installs Roblox, what does it also install? Roblox Studio, that's right. In a twist of events, it installs Roblox Studio. Now, if you're all wondering, hey, Retro, uh, how do I know if my computer has Roblox Studio? Very simple indeed. You just need to go down to your search bar, like in Windows 10 right here. You need to say, hey, Cortana, where is Roblox Studio? And there you go. When you type in Roblox, it'll give you the Roblox player and Roblox Studio app. When you have that, you're ready for step number a three. Okay, guys, now on to step number three. Now, you may be wondering, oh, the step should be easy, right? Like the other steps. And I'll say, no, you're wrong. Because this step is probably the most complicated step we've had so far so pay attention and if you can't pay attention that's fine you can just rewind the video over and over and over till you get to the part where you understand it. okay now anyways let's go to step three that is, to click the one tab you've probably never clicked before, and that is the Robux tab. Now, when you click this tab, you're going to need to buy the most expensive Robux right here for 
hundred dollars. Now remember, you're never gonna use this and it's not worth it. So of course, buy it. Okay. Now assuming you didn't buy it, you can continue to step number three, which is clicking the develop tab. What? The develop tab? Who would know? No one would know. That's the right answer. Now, the first time you click the develop tab, you'll come to the screen where they ask you to make a game so they can make money. But don't listen to them and just continue to the develop page right here. And you can agree or something, but to be honest with you guys, I don't really read the stuff they tell me to agree to. So, probably wouldn't affect you in the first place, but you know. You know. Okay, now back on step number three. After you've clicked the develop tab, you'll go to this page. And this page, let me tell you guys, is super important. You can do so many things on this page. You can look at your models, look at your decals, even look at your like sponsored games, which of course you'll never get any. Just kidding. You guys will be able to get a sponsored game there. And I'll show you guys how to do that in a later episode. So stay tuned. Okay? Okay. But to be honest with you guys, you're probably only going to ever like, click on this page. Like 90% of the time, you're just going to click on this page. I'm just saying. Now, you may be wondering, hey, Retro. Retro. Are we ever going to learn about the library tab? I say yes you will learn about the library tab and all these other tabs in a later video so stay tuned okay now I guess it's time for step number four the fourth step and that's very simple click the create new place button and we will begin our epic journey to making a game that might fail but might be still fun, so it doesn't really matter if it fails, as long as it's fun to you. And that's what really matters. So let's click create new place. Mm-hmm. And you got all these templates and basic themes and things. But we're gonna start simple, start with a base plate. So we can work from scratch to make our game the best it can be. But let's just say you're kind of lazy and you just want to play with friends, you know, on a Western theme and you don't really care about making a real game. You can click one of these themes. But anyways, for this, this series of YouTube videos, we'll start with a base plate. That's what we will do. Okay. Now, you can go in basic settings. You can change this like hey, retro YouTube studios place to build and things okay and you can put a description like 360 no scopy they no base like that if you choose to you can do that and you can make a genre so we can do comedy <laughs> comedy and then you can set your access but in general you won't want to ever like touch access in the beginning till later on and I'll talk about this more in a future episode so stay tuned again the advanced settings basically isn't advanced at all it only has gear stuff which let's be honest with you guys I don't think you should ever, ever turn on gear types. So don't ever do that. Please. Please don't do that. Please. And now other permissions. Of course, always uncopy lock your game if you want somebody to steal it. Of course. And then you won't ever get credit for your game. So of course, do not leave this button checked. If you want your game to be stolen. Okay. I'm being serious right now, guys. Don't check the box 
if you want people to steal it like if you want people to not steal it then click the button click make sure it's a check mark but i don't want people not to steal it so i'll let people steal it by unchecking it but maybe i don't want to do that so i'll check it so people don't steal it but if i check it then what if people want to check if i don't steal but if i check it then stealing is an option but i do want them to steal so i'm gonna uncheck it and then i'm gonna check it again just to make sure i'm gonna make sure it's always checked and then we're just gonna click create place okay wow whoo that was a lot a lot of work just to get our place ready to build and ready to make which we will do in the next episode or episode one because i'll call this episode zero for warming up and stuff so during episode one we will make a place and build things so stay tuned guys can't wait to catch you the next time where we make some 360s we make some noobs and we get a triple kill baby let's go let's go all mlg on this game and we can make it a plus okay i'll see you guys next time don't forget to leave a like leave a comment and maybe subscribe or subscribe if you want to i don't really know but okay I'll see you guys uh, next time. Later.